Welcome to Handmade Home, I'm Hester and today we're gonna add some color to my interior. Last week I was at the book launch of my friend Emily Hansen's new book, Be Bold! This is a really lovely book, uh, full of interior tips for maximalism, bold prints, patterns and lots and lots of color. And you might think, but Hester, that's not really up your street because you are very toned down and scandy and more simplistic. True, but I still think it's really good to have a look around other kind of interiors that are and just pick little bits you might really find interesting and you might inspire you as well. So let me show you what this book looks on the inside. Doesn't that book look great? And the house I really like is this one. I love this page. I really like the yellow of the window here. I think it's such a clever way of introducing a little bit of color into your interior. You can of course go full on and paint the whole wall yellow, but I think there's a little hint around the window. It's a very clever way. So I thought, I can do that too. Look at the window behind me. A bit of color, could be quite lovely. Uh, yeah, it's a very wide wall. So I thought, just a teeny bit of color, just the inside of the window frame. Mm, could be very nice. Let's have a go. Well, which color to pick for the window? I originally thought yellow, as the door behind it in my lean to there is yellow. Then I thought that it may be a little bit too bright for this otherwise quite wide room. So I look at my shed and I had these two chalk paints from Annie Sloan in Antoinette and in Henrietta. Henrietta is really lovely uh, pink with a bit of purple and there's also the Antoinette, but Antoinette might be a little bit too light, but let's see which one looks best. Start by taping off your window so you don't get any paint on there. And then give your window frame a really good clean as well. This is the Antoinette, lovely colour but I do things a little bit too light. This is the Henrietta, beautiful but a little bit too dark. So I mix the two and the colour is absolutely perfect. So in a container I mixed equal parts of Henrietta and Antoinette, gave it a stir and started painting. Almost done with the first coat, I'm gonna let it dry for about an hour and apply the second coat, this chalk paint, so it dries really quick. And after the second coat, you have a bit more colour in your house. Say, worst case scenario, you don't like it, uh, leave it for a few days, maybe you get used to it and maybe change a little bit of the styling in your house. If you still don't like it, just give it a soft sand and paint it white again. It's just a small bit of paint, easily done. I just finished the second coat, but it's getting a little bit dark out. As you can see with my beautiful yellow uh, lighting from the ceiling. It looks very pretty. So I'm just gonna let this dry, uh, have a look in the morning with daylight, see if there's any touch-up needed, and then the window's finished. Good morning, guys. Daylight, so I can check the paintwork. A few little spots need a little bit of extra paint, so I've done that this morning. Took the tape off, but I think my window is all ready to go. You could give this a varnish with like a nice sheen on your paintwork. I quite like the matte look, I think it really goes with the rest of my interior, so it's gonna leave it this way. And uh, are you waving? I think Kiki wants to show you that I accidentally popped on the cardigan this morning. Same colour as the window. How does the mind work, hey? So I'm just gonna put the curtains back up, style this room, and take some nice after shots for you. But yeah, this window's all ready to go. It's a very easy way of adding a bit of pop of color into your interior. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and have a look on my website, hestershandmadehome.com for more craft and DIY ideas for your home. I'll be back next week with a new video. Hope to see you then. Say bye-bye.